it's Keisha, and welcome back to Fetch Columbus on OLED TV, brought to you by Rascal Animal Hospital. Today, we have an exclusive story of a dog named Misty that, get this, was hit in the head with a shovel by the Jefferson County Dog Warden. I do have to warn you that what we're about to show you can be very disturbing. Joining me today, Dr. Gonzalez, woman in charge here at the Rascal Animal Hospital, and Stefan Baldwin, CEO of the Animal Cruelty Task Force of Ohio. Stefan, I'm absolutely at a loss for words. Can you tell us a little bit about what we just saw? Sure. So the uh, the video that you watched is uh, this dog here, Misty. She was getting uh, beat over the head with a shovel by the former uh, dog warden of Jefferson County. Um, former dog warden. He was fired. Uh, basically, there was an incident at the shelter. Um, two dogs that weren't fixed were playing together. Something happened. And after the fight was over, the dog warden went and, and again beat her over the head with the shovel. So that's when uh, afterwards the Rascal Animal Hospital came in and agreed to, to take uh, Misty out of that situation, care for her medical needs, and we've been working on her rehabilitation ever since. Well, I'm so glad. She's obviously in better hands with you and Dr. Gonzalez, but can you tell us what's next for Misty and how's she doing? Uh, Misty's doing great. She was actually labeled as very dog aggressive, um, and, and she's not. It was a situational reactivity. She was reacting to the situation that she was in. Once we took her out of that situation, put her into a new environment, she stopped reacting. She now plays with six other dogs. She's very dog friendly. Um, she's very interested in cats, um, but that can be a prey drive thing that's very common with the breed. If you need to know that with the breed in general, it's not something that necessarily needs to be fixed. So she's ready to be adopted. She can go on our website. Um, uh, she'll be up there in about a week or so. Uh, uh, ACTOH.org. Absolutely. Well, Dr. Gonzalez, I know Rascal plays such a huge part in animal rescue and rehabilitating these dogs. So tell us how you guys were involved with Misty's case. Well, we have been going to Jefferson County for the last eight years with the Rascal unit. So we've been doing a lot of spay neuter there. And we have an excellent relationship with the people at the shelter. And even though the dog warden was not the right person for that job, the people that the volunteers there love Misty. And unfortunately, because of the situation, they were unable to adopt her. So they had put her on the euthanasia list. So the person in charge asked me if I I knew of somebody that could take over Misty because they just really wanted to give her another chance. That's when I contacted Stefan. And so Rascal Charities took care of her medical needs. We got her spay, made sure that her vaccinations were taken care of and everything, and then handed her over to Stefan to work with her so that she could get a good home. Well, and Rascal Charities provides such great care for these animals that otherwise, you know, would not have that type of care. So tell us how we can get involved and give back to Rascal Charities. So anybody interested in, in helping and sponsoring an animal, a facility, a group or, or donation, they can get information on our website, which is rascalcharities.org. Definitely. And Stefan, it's my understanding you have a website as well. We can get updates on Misty and all the other dogs that you guys help. Yes, um, that's actoh.org, so actoh.org. We can't also leave today without wishing our very own Stefan Baldwin a very happy birthday as well. Well, we hope you had a wonderful birthday. Thank you. Thank you on behalf of the entire team here at OLA to both Dr. Gonzalez and Stefan for all you guys do for the animals. Isn't it amazing how many lives can be saved through partnerships with the Animal Cruelty Task Force of Ohio and Rascal Animal Hospital? Stay tuned next week as we fetch what's next in Columbus. And remember that this segment is brought to you by Rascal Animal Hospital. Open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, providing top of the line care at an affordable price. Oh my gosh, Keisha, I love that Misty ended up okay. Well, I can assure you, Jen, she is in great hands now with Dr. G and Stefan. Definitely. Thank you so much to Rascal Animal Hospital and to Stefan with Animal Cruelty Task Force of Ohio for helping out so many animal superheroes. <laughs> and you know that October is National Pitbull Month. So we are having our very own costume contest where you can email your submissions to askthevet at rascalunit.com. Recuerda que Rascal Animal Hospital está teniendo un concurso de disfraces para las mascotas por Halloween o Día de los Muertos. Así 